This is an alert for all folks currently residing in Homedale, New Jersey. You've got a situation on your hands. What am I talking about? Well, the fine folks that live in that township are now lucky enough to call themselves neighbors to Jersey Shore star Mike the Situation Sorrentino and his wife Lauren Sorrentino. After a short stint in prison, Mike's $2 million family mansion is an upgrade to say the least. He, Lauren, and their growing family have a ton of luxury amenities to enjoy in their new home, and today we're gonna take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Michael Sorrentino, who also goes by his infamous nickname, The Situation, is one of the original stars of the Jersey Shore reality series on MTV. He and his wife Lauren Sorrentino first met back in college, but would eventually split before Jersey Shore became a nationwide sensation. Once the series wrapped, Mike found his way back to Lauren in 2013, and these two, well, they've been inseparable ever since, getting married in November of 2018. Unfortunately, not long after that, Mike hit a bit of a speed bump when the IRS came calling for back taxes after he failed to properly declare nearly $9 million worth of income. As a direct result of this oversight, Mike would serve out a prison sentence from January of 2019 to September of that same year. Want to know how he and Lauren celebrated his release? By getting a brand new house to start their family in. That's right, Mike and Lauren dropped $2 million on a drop dead gorgeous luxury mansion located in New Jersey and this baby is a far cry from the federal prison that Mike had previously called home. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time looking at where Mike the Situation calls home. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. These former MTV stars first moved into their dream home in December of 2019, two months after Mike was released from federal prison. The home, located in Holmdel, New Jersey, was originally designed by the award-winning architect Rui A. Pont back in 2004. Less than a decade later, it would undergo a complete overhaul after interior designer Satomi Yoshida Katz was brought in to do a redesign with an eye to accentuate a glamorous and cosmopolitan connection through different mediums and a use of understated elements. So, what was the end result of all of that? Oh, just a four-story house with nearly 10,000 square feet of space, seven bedrooms, and 10, yes, 10 bathrooms. So much for being understated, I guess. Let's begin by working our way through the interior of the situation's mansion. And our first stop is the mother-in-law bedroom suite that offers its own private access to that interior of the home as well as the nearby courtyard. On that very same floor is also a two-story office that serves as a library as well, and believe it or not, but it looks like Mike's shelves are actually packed full of books. Whether or not he actually reads them might be another question, but still, who would have thought? Elsewhere on the main floor is a glorious kitchen that features dark wooden cabinets as well as a huge marble island. The couple has even offered a peek into their cupboards over on social media where Lauren has revealed that they keep their pantry as organized as possible. In fact, she's utilized a similar technique for her massive walk-in closet, but don't worry, we're gonna get to that soon. Only a stone's throw away from there is a stylish dinner table that's perfectly complemented by a trendy chandelier hanging just above it. One of the last things worth taking a peek at on this main floor before moving upstairs is the foyer staircase that's got a modern and stylish railing made out of lucite. Moving upstairs, Mike and Lauren have a ton of natural light flooding in from a bunch of large windows, and then there's even an observation deck that offers up unobstructed views of the distant Manhattan skyline. Attached to that observation deck is the couple's master bedroom that not only features an eye-popping five-fixture ensuite bathroom, but those impressive walk-in closets as well. I told you they were well organized, didn't I? Apparently the couple spared no expense when it came to sorting this place out. And I really don't blame them. Top-notch organization is a fantasy of mine. Mike and Lauren worked with Project Neat to organize their home as efficiently as possible, and all it takes is one look at these closets to realize that they succeeded. 
While the situation might have an enviable wardrobe to choose his fits from, nothing beats Lauren's shoe collection. As far as the bed goes, while it doesn't get much comfier looking than this gigantic mattress, perfectly tied together with light bedding and dark floral wallpaper. As cool as all of that is, the room that Mike and Lauren are no doubt most excited to show off is definitely their nursery for their brand new baby boy, Romeo. After moving into the home in December of 2019, the Sorrentinos would celebrate one year in their new family home by announcing Lauren's pregnancy with the help of their family kitchen. Yeah, I bet that was a real pain to clean up, or at least that's what I thought when I saw this on Instagram. Either way, this is probably why when it came time for their gender reveal post, they kept things a little simpler while still maintaining that homemade touch. A blue Christmas tree? Okay, I know what you're trying to say. Once baby Romeo was born this past May, he moved right into his amazing nursery, created especially for him by celebrity designer Vanessa Antonelli. With the help of Mike and Lauren, Vanessa crafted a sanctuary for baby Romeo that includes a soft, neutral colors as well as an open design. The natural wood elements provide an elegant touch and that chandelier hanging from the roof ensures that Romeo's already living in a room far classier than most adults wind up getting to spend their nights in. One last area of the home to take a look at before we head out is the exterior. The entire home is painted in a dark black like color which ultimately gives it a unique look from the outside. Couple that with some wonderful cobblestone front steps and it feels surprisingly inviting. Meanwhile on the other side of the exterior, Mike has himself a barbecue pit for entertaining as well as a covered patio and porch alongside some outdoor lighting that's perfect for when those summertime get togethers run late into the night. Located in prime proximity to New York City, not to mention some nearby beaches and boardwalks, Mike and Lauren are perfectly happy with the location of their dream home. Better yet, some of the top schools in the area are just a stone's throw away. But as happy as they are with the place, the Sorrentinos also know that a family home is always a work in progress. In fact, they're already planning on a few upgrades, Lauren told Life and Style. The house is a never ending work in progress, kind of like us. I don't think it needs anything, but we're just gonna try to improve it a little bit here and there. Those little improvements are said to include a new in ground pool as well as a home gym that will allow Mike to get all his exercise in without interrupting the flow of his day to day. Oh, and then they're also building their very own home theater as well. Because I mean, in 2020, who wants to go to a public theater anymore? Actually, I do. <laughs> I think a theater, pool, and gym are all respectable add-ons. I would love all of the above, so I for one can't wait to see them. When Mike and Lauren first broke up in the early 2000s, they probably never imagined their lives working out this way, or that they would be able to come together and afford such an unbelievable life of luxury. But something tells me now that they've found their dream home, and I don't think they would have it any other way. After checking out Mike the Situation Sorrentino and his wife Lauren's New Jersey mansion, I think this wraps up our house tour. So what did you guys think about the place? I think their family home is stunning and the dude has definitely done well for himself to say the least. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Mike's home down in the comments or what your favorite features in the place were. If you like this one, check out recent drops on his co-stars homes like Polly D and Vinny, which we'll link to. Thanks for watching. Follow me over on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.